have never been to a March meeting. This is the biggest uh, meeting the APS sponsors every year. There are about 10,000 scientists here, plus a lot of vendors who come. And so anybody who hasn't been to one of these meetings before should uh, try it out. every year to see collaborators and friends and you know just people I work with and it's a great chance for students to give talks. To underplay the importance of mentoring the undergraduates and graduate students giving talks and also recruiting potentially a postdoctoral associate to come to my lab. That was some heavy lifting oh, yes. going on. Right yeah this is a great chance to suss out different candidates and see who would be a good match for postdocs. So every year I present the work that I have done for the year so every year I come. Since I was a graduate student, I, I come here. Now I'm a, a visiting assistant professor at Rowan. I uh, listen the development in my field, and I listen the invited talks, prize talks especially, uh, which I enjoy. One thing is the pre-meeting workshop called Professional Skills Development Workshops. This is NSF funded and it brings mainly postdocs and early career faculty and scientists to the meeting to learn about communication and negotiation skills. And hopefully this will help them advance in the field and stay in it so that we can close the leaky pipeline for women in physics. Uh, a lot of the women come here and they present their research and it often results in collaborations and uh, sometimes faculty uh, job offerings. So. It keeps them in the field and coming to the meeting is a great networking opportunity. Things like this, the diversity reception brings together you know, women and minorities and people who are interested in these, these uh, issues and brings students and faculty together and so that they can you know, meet each other and make connections and understand that there are other people who are like them and like-minded who are in physics. And uh, a lot of connections are made here. We do these receptions every year at the March and April meetings and we think it's been an invaluable experience. It's, it's important for students to come to meetings to present their research and also network, get to know what professional conference is like and specifically come to events such as the student reception. It's another way to network with other students, talk with other students in different schools, different areas and um, hear about the opportunities that FGSA has for students, both graduate students and undergrads. Yeah, do research, meet as many people as you can, share your ideas, let them share ideas with you. Uh, it's great. It's a great way to meet people and uh, be reunited with people you met maybe the year before. And yeah, it's a great time. I, I highly recommend it. I was going to say, don't be afraid to go to talks that are way over your head because some of them will be way over your head, but other ones you'll understand. So it's kind of like a hodgepodge of sometimes I understand what's going on and then sometimes I really don't. But I think that it's really nice that you know we all have our areas of expertise and that people here all feel like I do, even yep. the professors. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The thing I'm now looking forward to is I've got this sticker that reminds me there's a sing-along on Wednesday at 9 p.m. And I don't know what songs they're going to sing, but this is, that's what I'm doing. This is a social event uh, sponsored by the APS. We've been doing it for the last eight years. And um, we get together and sing funny physics lyrics set to familiar tunes, like Beatles tunes. And we drink beer, and we meet new friends, and form new collaborations. And the March meeting is a, a wonderful place to get together with people, to network, to talk about issues that are not just relating to your science, but also to your lives. And we have great wine. <laughs>